Okay, now that we've looked at how we can describe the distribution of frequencies using numbers, uh, we'll talk about one idea for the shape of a distribution. But before we do that, I realized uh, homework problem number 17 asks you to do a cumulative frequency distribution, which we didn't talk about in the last video, so let's do that now. Um, so the idea behind a cumulative frequency is to start adding up all the previous categories, and we need slightly different class descriptions here. So we are going to make classes that read like this, less than 130, less than 160. Uh, so they're less than the start of the second group and less than the start of the third group and so on. So uh, when you say how many presidents weighed less than 130 pounds, you can look over here at the frequencies and you say, hey, there was just one. Only one president weighed less than 130 pounds. Uh, so the cumulative total there uh, is just one. And then you go on to say how many weighed less than 160 pounds. And you say, well, okay, it was the one that we already had, and he definitely weighed less than 160, but these guys also weighed less than 160. So if you're talking about how many presidents weighed less than 160, there were six of them. And going on to say how many presidents weighed less than 190 pounds, is the six we already had and these 26. Uh, so that makes a total of 32 presidents that weighed less than 190 pounds. Uh, so we'll just keep going like that. Uh, say less than 220 adds on seven more to what we already had, so that'll be 39. Uh, less than 250 gets another three in there. So we go up to 42. Um, and then less than 280, there's one more president that gets included now, so that's 43. Uh, then we get our two empty classes, which don't add anything, so it's also true that 43 presidents weighed less than 310, and 43 presidents weighed less than 340, and uh, so that was adding in those zeros, and then we finally get uh, President Taft here, our outlier, um, but there were 40 four presidents uh, that weighed less than 370 pounds. Uh, cumulative frequency distributions are often show up in like board meetings and shareholder reports uh, because the, notice the numbers have to go up. Uh, the, the very worst they can do is stay the same, but they can never get smaller, right? So, and, and investors like to see numbers that get bigger. Okay, so let's talk about the shape of the distribution. Um, and I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to uh, skip ahead to 2.3 and uh, put a histogram in here. So this is the histogram of our frequencies. So when you talk about that one president that weighed between 100 and 129 pounds, right, that just sort of got turned into a, a bar. Right, and all the others, uh, the five, right, is there as well. I don't actually want that on the graph, so let's take that back off. Um, but let's talk about normal, uh, normally distributed data. There's two requirements to be normally distributed. First one is that the classes start low and then they go high and then they go low again, the frequencies I should say. Uh, we can definitely kind of see that happening here. It's, right, there's a pretty low one and then they get high ooh, and then they get low again. So that much fits. Um, and the second is that the classes, the distribution, uh, is basically symmetric, so mirror image. And that is where this one breaks, because right? this right here is not symmetric. Uh, if we didn't have that, if we just took President Taft out of this set, I would say we've got a pretty good normally distributed data set. Uh, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It just has to basically go low, high, low, and basically be symmetric. Um, so without that, I would say we have normally distributed data 
With President Taft in there, we don't. There's an outlier that throws things off. So it's a little bit of a judgment call uh, when you look at a graph, or hopefully you can look at a table too. Hopefully you don't even need the graph. You should be able to look at these numbers right here and make that same sort of judgment call. Uh, so the homework will ask you to decide, is this normally distributed or not? And I think you'll basically be able to tell, but again, there's a little bit of judgment involved in that.